If you plan to vote by mail this election, the Postal Service recommends you request your ballot by tonight and get it mailed as soon as possible. Voters also have the option of hand delivering that ballot to one location in their county. But we're finding that delivery process varies by counties across Central Texas. KXAN's Avery Travis has more on why some voters are concerned about those variables. Sometimes this line is moving. Other times it backs out to the street as Travis County elections officials check IDs and signatures on hand delivered mail in ballots. That's what Williamson County voter Pamela Oldham expected when she opted to deliver her mail in ballot. But I did not anticipate having to walk inside a building which, um, you know, for someone who has been isolating for, what, seven, eight months, I mean, I think you can count them one hand where I've been. <laughs> like many others, she's been worried about her ballot making it through the mail on time. In addition to Travis County, Bastrop County offers a curbside option for voters, but officials in Williamson, Burnett, and Hayes counties all confirmed their voters do have to walk inside the designated location. When there are lines, there are short lines. Williamson County's elections administrator, Chris Davis, says they ask people to socially distance and use plexiglass between voters and workers. The county does have a number for for you to call if you want someone to come out to your car to help you if you have mobility issues or you're too worried to head inside. Oldham says she just wishes she knew that before she showed up and she wants other voters to be aware too. During this early voting period though, Davis has another suggestion. If they're concerned about that contact, they really, really need to consider mailing that ballot back to us. The USPS is doing their job and doing their job very well. In Georgetown, Avery Travis, KXAN News. Williamson County told us today it's considering setting up a curbside delivery option for vote by mail ballots on Election Day. By then, Davis says it's cutting it close to get ballots postmarked by the 7 p.m. deadline that day.